All right, let's face it, if you're trying to buy a new GPU in 2025, well, you're gonna get ripped off. But today we're gonna do a tier list of the entire RTX 50 series to try and save you as much money as possible so you don't cry yourself to sleep. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Jawa. Jawa's mission is to be the community for safely buying and selling PC parts at a reasonable price, offering low fees and great customer service, which I can definitely attest to as I personally bought this RTX 3070 from Jawa anonymously, and not only did it arrive quickly, but when I ran into an issue, they immediately replaced it with a flawless substitute and asked that I only send the old one back after I confirmed the new GPU worked great. And the best part is the price I got this card at was well below other listings I could find anywhere else, likely thanks in part to Jawa's much lower seller fees of 9-12% to depending on when you join. So if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts on a platform with low fees and great customer service, be sure to click the link in the description below and watch out for some of my hardware that'll likely be popping up very soon. Alright, so let's jump right into the tier list. We're going to be taking a look at the 5060 all the way to the RTX 5090. And if you want to see me do the same for AMD as well as Intel, well, drop a like on this video and comment below. I'll make sure to do so and hopefully eventually a tier list of everything combined. But let's start off with NVIDIA. You're probably in the market for NVIDIA because you want the best ray tracing. You want all the features, the DLAA, the DLSS, the DLDSR, the D. You get the idea. There's so many S's and L's and D's. You want them all. Well, I'll give you the D today. And let's start off with the RTX 5060. This is gonna be the most budget option, and look, it's not so hot. Coming in at $299, it does give you pretty decent performance. And I'll go ahead and link you guys below a review from TechSpot on this and throw some charts up for you, courtesy of TechSpot. But in any case, yeah, look, 299 bucks, it gets the job done, but this is more of a 1080p or maybe entry level 1440p card. And look, with just eight gigabytes of VRAM in 2025, I don't think this is a very good card. In fact, I'm really kind of between C or D tier. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I just, eight gigabytes, 300 bucks, eh, C tier. I think it kind of, it's, it's all right. You're getting decent performance for the price, but this thing is not gonna age well. Now let's move on. Let's say you have a little bit more money. You want something like the RTX 5060 Ti, but you're still broke. So you're looking at the eight gigabyte model. Well, I got news for you. This is not a good investment. Look, the RTX 5060 Ti does give you around 15% more performance. However, it comes in at a 19% higher price points. So that's not necessarily what you wanna see, but it's not terrible, but it still has eight gigabytes of VRAM. And now you're jumping up to an even higher price point for a card it's going to be obsolete in a lot of games very soon. For that reason, I think the 5060 Ti 8GB belongs at the bottom in D tier. But what about the 16GB version? Well, this is going to get you around 16% more performance than the 5060, so it's really giving you about the same performance as the 5060 Ti. However, it has 16GB of VRAM, which means you can max out any game that you want, and probably to some extent, as long as you're willing to use upscaling for a decent amount into the future. So with that being the case, well, actually, I kind of think this is like a B tier card. It's not too bad coming in eh, at a much higher price point of $450. Yes, it's 50% more expensive than this card and you're only getting 16% more performance, but at least it's kind of like a no compromise solution here in a lot of ways for maybe 1440p. But what about something a little bit more expensive, the RTX 5070? This is the card that a lot of people are gonna be looking at. If you got a little bit higher of a budget, you're looking for a 1440p gaming system, well, this is gonna be an absolutely excellent card for that use case. And coming in at $550, well, this thing is gonna be around 22% more expensive than the 5060 Ti, but it actually gives you around 28% more performance. However, it only has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So while that's not gonna be a huge issue today, it might become an issue at some point in the future. So with that being the case, I could easily see this being another B tier card, but to be honest with you, ooh, ooh, 
I don't know, this could almost be A tier just based on the price to performance, but I think, you know what? I think it belongs. I, I used to think this was kind of C tier. Man, this is a tough one. I used to not really like this. I used to not recommend it, but compared to what we have today, well, I think it's a B tier card and that's where I'm gonna put it. But what about the 5070 Ti and on launch? I absolutely love this because at its MSRP of $750, well, this would just be a no brainer upgrade over the RTX 5070. However, the 5070, well, this thing's actually available at 550 of its MSRP. However, the 5070 Ti is not. And for a long time, it was way too expensive. However, it's recently come down to around 810 bucks. I've seen it around 800 bucks. So it's close to its MSRP now. And this thing's gonna get you about 29% more performance in the 5070 for a 47% increase in the price. But it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I think this is basically a no compromise card and it's the cheapest one you're gonna get from Nvidia and for that reason, I actually think it's an S tier card for this generation. Don't get me wrong, it's still kind of expensive. I wish it was about 700 bucks, but look, uh, we live in a society. So this is where it's gonna have to be compared to the other cards. What about the 5080? Well, the 5080 right here, get ready. Ooh, this is gonna get you a spanking because this thing is gonna get you only around 15% more performance than the 5070 Ti, but it's gonna come in at a hot hot red hot 57 percent more more money so um awful investment straight into d tier what about the rtx 5090 though well this is where it gets complicated because yes it's 89 percent more expensive than the 5080 but it gets you 50 two percent more performance and 32 gigabytes of vram this is an absolute monster of a gpu and yes the price to performance is awful but the performance is insane at a rough price of 2400 dollars for that reason honestly i'm gonna give it the a tier just based on pure performance it is just such an awesome card tote now this is a totally no compromise card for 4K. And just to break these down for you guys real quick, 5090, definitely 4K card. 5080, definitely 4K card. 5070 Ti, could definitely be used as a 4K card. There's gonna be a couple compromises, and yeah, hey, even the 5080 will have a couple compromises. You'll probably have to use upscaling a little bit more than you want. 5070, it can do 4K, but there's a lot of compromises. Kind of same for the 5060 Ti. You can eke buy in 4K with the 16 gigabyte version, but there's gonna be a lot of compromises. So these two cards, the 5070 and 5060 Ti, are gonna be a little bit better suited to 1440p or 1440p high refresh rate, though you could do high refresh rate with 5070 Ti all the way up to 5090 as well. In any case, 5060 Ti, eight gigabyte, maybe, you know, closer to 1440p low settings or 1080p, and then 5060, yeah, you can do 1440p with it, but it's probably more of a 1080p card for most people. But with that being said, there's my list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and which manufacturer do you think is ripping you off the least? Which one do you like the most? Put it in the comments below. Would you buy Nvidia? Would you buy AMD? Or would you buy Intel when it comes to GPUs? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.